Oh, you know I'm fucking pissed if I'm making this shit in the car. I was out last night somewhere else. Wasn't home to watch the game. You know, I felt good. I didn't have to break anything in my house. It's just the reality setting in of another year going by and no Lombardi trophy coming to Philadelphia and the hope of it happening in the near future is not very hopeful. Chip Kelly, the master GM of this fucking team, has given me no hope for the immediate future. How can I? How can I? We just lost to a fucking team that was giving us the game. Extra point, no good. Before the half, do I want to down it? Do I want to take a knee? Oh, fuck, the time's up. Shit, we're in field goal range. We, we, we could have kicked three points. We we're giving the Eagles three points, take them right off the board. They spotted us four points, and they still smoked us. Oh, don't get me wrong. The right team won the division. <sighs> Congrats, Redskins! You won the NFC East. Enjoy it. And to all you Eagles pom-pom waivers that wanted the Eagles to actually win and then die in the playoffs, that gets you nowhere! What that would have got you is job security for people that will hopefully get fired now! I'm looking at you, Billy Davis! Get the fuck out of here! At least now you hope someone like Billy Davis will get fired because he sucks as a defensive coordinator. But, but, he's a sycophant and Chip Kelly wants little lap dog bitches that nod their heads as his coordinators. He wants weak-minded, corruptible motherfuckers. And that is what Billy Davis is. He's the perfect fit for Chip's system. He doesn't want guys like LaShawn McCoy because he doesn't fit Chip's system. Neither do you, Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson's in the fucking playoffs. What's that? Kansas City offered way too much money to counter Macklin? Where's Kansas City going? They're primed to slaughter motherfuckers. The Eagles are primed to die. Did you guys see Kiko Alonso covering Jordan Reed? Neither did I! Because Reed would be there and Alonso would be over there! Did you see that first, I don't know, first, second, touchdown, whatever? Oh my god! I thought Alonso was on the ground looking for earthworms! <sighs> Jesus Christ! I'm going to go insane! Wait, I'm already there! <sighs> this fucking team. This fucking team. Not that I was expecting a fucking Super Bowl this year, but I expected a team that would at least give me promise for next year. There is no promise to be found. If there is, find it for me. Don't worry, Archfiend. We're going to go into week 17, which is now the game between the team that can't figure out a way to win in the final minute of the game versus the team that can't figure out a way to stop fucking sucking. We got to play the Giants in the meaningless bowl. Wow! Don't worry, Archfiend. We'll lease that game and get a better draft pick. A better draft pick? What? Nelson Aguilar. Can someone please, someone please do this for me? Go back to last season's draft, or this season's draft, and... 
go look at every single player that was drafted on the offensive side of the ball and find one person, even one person, that contributed less to their team than fucking Nelson Aguilar did. Then, go back to the previous draft, find everyone in the first round that was drafted on the defensive side of the ball, and find one fucking player that did less than Marcus Smith. I bet you can't! You know why? Because Marcus Smith has had one half sack! One half sack in two seasons! One half sack! That's a quarter of a sack per season! <laughs> there are guys on the garbage pile that can get you more than half a sack per season! And we wasted a first round draft pick on that sack of shit! I'm sorry, but all this has been being pent up all season. And I just got to let it unleash. Just let it unleash one time here. Because this is the last ounce of passion I have for this team this year. I don't, I don't care if we lose to the Giants or win against the Giants. Because Chip Kelly's going to fuck up that, that draft pick. That's okay. We'll just, we'll, we'll get a solid pick in the second round. How? We gave away that draft pick when we traded it with Nick Foles for Sam. I'm only here for one year and gone, Bradford. Oh, what's that? We're going to resign Sam? Really? We're going to franchise Sam? Really? We got no cap room to do that. We'd have to sign him for at least 24 to $25 million just to franchise him, which would put us over the salary cap, which means we would have to cut talent to keep the same talent. Think about that. At this point, I would take RG3 or Kaepernick simply because they can at least run the option. And the worst case scenario is, we don't make the playoffs! We didn't make the playoffs with Bradford! Let's get at least a quarterback that can run the option! Someone explain to me where the optimism is, is to be found. Do you really think guys like Billy Davis are going to be fired? Little sycophants that Chip wants around. Chip loves those little yes-men type guys. Loves them. Oh, yeah, Chip, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's let's draft. Let's give away LaShawn McCoy for Kiko Alonso. That's a good idea, Chip. I'm with you. Billy, do you ever say no to anything I say? No, no, except that question you just asked me. That's the first time I've said no to you. I say yes to everything. Some would say I take this shit too seriously, but goddamn, if one thing is proven time and time again with this team is that I'm glutton for punishment and I come back every fucking year. In a sick, demented way, I kind of like it. Anyways, to all of you going on in the playoffs with your teams, not that you guys physically play for them or anything, but enjoy the playoffs. All you teams that are actually in it and have a chance to win. I'm going to sit at home and watch my team play the who gives a fuck bowl in week 17 against the Giants. One last time. One last time to see them take the field. And by the way, DeMarco Murray, don't plan on getting in the field. Don't plan on getting on the field this week. It was... It was a nice, big, colossal waste of time and cap space to bring you in here. And even if we cut you, we still have to take a cap hit for next year. What a fucking... Tri- I, I, like, I'm, a, I'm at a loss to say uh, which one thing was the biggest fucking waste getting rid of, you know, LaShawn McCoy for DeMarco... Uh, for, uh, 
for Kiko Alonso or DeMarco Murray coming in when you sign Jordan Matthew or, or oh, fuck. I just I I'm losing my train of thought here, people. I just I I fucking need to go to sleep. Have a good day. I would say fuck the Dallas Cowboys, but you know what? We're all not in the playoffs as far as those two teams are concerned, so whatever. But you know what? They may actually have a bigger mess than we do here in Philadelphia. Just saying. Hope you've enjoyed another entertaining season of me losing my fucking mind even more. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.